Ladies and gentlemen, we have the beautiful Giraffe Tools retractable pressure washer. Um, this is great for um, your everyday person, someone that you've got a couple of cars, you want to wash your cars, your bikes, buggies, mm. uh, garage floors, driveways. Um, yeah, yeah, just for your recreational not, use. Not basically. so much commercial use. Um, and over the course of doing, I don't know, detailing for 11 years full time and another 10 years before that, we've been through some pressure washers. Um, every brand we've tried, uh, every model almost, like we've, we've tried them all. So yeah. this will be good. So it's, uh, it's new to the Australian market. Uh, it's pretty big overseas, but yeah, new to the Australian market. There's very few here, so they're trying to um, hit Australia hard with it. Um, so we're just gonna open it up, see what we got, mount it to the wall, and give it a quick test. We'll be, uh, we'll be honest and give you our true opinion. Yep, but we're just happy about it. It's, it's convenient. So it looks like, like Phil said, uh, retractable hose. That's what it looks like, yeah, just like so, your normal garden. Yeah, and, and it can be mounted inside <clears throat> and outside. It is waterproof. It does come with a optional uh, uh, outside cover, which I haven't got yet, but I will get. And from the outside, it just looks like a, a normal hose reel, but you've got, you know, 17 or 1750 PSI at your hands. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so this is what you get in the pack by the looks of it. Um, a snore, uh, a snore, a small snow foam lens, which the head's in here for it. Looks to be 500 mil yep. by the looks of it. Which might fit onto our one liter bottles. Might fit onto our one liter bottles. Yep. Uh, wall mount stuff to mount it into your masonry brick. <clears throat> yep. That's the head of that. And then now, instead of having quick disconnect, normally you get like the five quick disconnects and it's got your different um, spreads. Settings, yeah. Zero degree, 10 yep. degree, 25 degree. This one is a adjustable one. So you'd adjust it on the fly, which is pretty good. Might yep. have to give that a go. I've never seen that before. Yeah. That's pretty much uh, what you'd get with your, like your other generic pressure washers. Yeah. Um, so we'll, um, so we've got a template here to mount on the wall, which is uh, pretty explainable. Pretty yep. easy. Arrow faces up, same as this. So you don't have to try to hold this up on the wall. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and that's how you adjust it. There yep. you pull that lever. You can adjust it in many positions. That's 180 degrees of yeah. swivel from that. Your hose. Um, everything's inbuilt. 20 meter hose, I remember reading. Yeah, so that's pretty good. 20 meters, that's fair um, distance. Yeah. Um, and then even your, they give you a hose to attach from that to your garden yep. hose, which has a filter on it as well, Look at that. which we'll show you. Um, pretty, looks pretty heavy duty, this hose. Like, look, at, look at how big it is. Yeah, it's, um, um, yep. got a bit of girth on it. All metal fittings as well, so yeah. All right, we'll let's, um, let's get this mounted and we'll get back to you guys on it. Now, we had a couple of options. We could have mounted it inside here, although, I want to keep it looking clean. I've already got the electrical box and NBN and all that sort of stuff there. So my other option was externally. Now again, electrical box, it's a fully water sealed unit, that itself and the pressure washer. So I won't have any issues in case it did leak. It won't, but just in case it did. I've already got my hose drill up there. So we're going to go here. A good option would be here, but it sticks out a fair bit. So we're going to go here, it's tucked away. I can still rotate it. Hose is just there. And now we can mark it out, drill it, mount it, give it a test. All right, guys, so we've uh, done the hard job and mounted this unit up, which was quite easy. It came with a stencil, sticky tape the stencil to the wall. Um, then you need a hammer drill um, and the right, the right bits. So I think it was 12, a 12, uh, 12 mil drill bit, yeah. Yep. Um, put that in, mount it, it's all secure. We've uh, ran all the hoses and everything. Uh, so later on, Phil's gonna get um, like an outdoor waterproofing PowerPoint to sit there. We've yeah, just so done we'll this for a video. Above. That's yep. just for now, just to yep. test it all out. Obviously not right. ideal. So when you first hook it up, turn the water on, make sure the switch is off, and then just run it and prime it up. Let all the air get out. Switch it on like we've done, we're ready to go. So the Australian model comes with these type of fittings. So it's it's still a quick it's connect. It's still a quick connect, but you just got one of these. It's one fitting that yeah. adjusts. Whereas the American, they come with the different types. Yeah, different types over. of spray patterns, which you yeah. can just buy up anywhere really and um, use them, or you can use this one. This is quite easy because then you can just adjust it on the go. Yep. Um, which is a really great idea because it saves you time from unplugging. So we've got 20 meters of hose here. Um, so we'll just give it a little squirt and see what we're running. 
another good feature we've just found or just realized that you've got your four rollers so in, this is a perfect example because we've had to mount it so far back doesn't matter what you do you're not going to snag a hose it's easy to roll and it's not going to wear or damage the hose out so they've really thought about longevity with this unit great locking mechanism just give it a squirt so you can adjust it on the fly excellent so this is how you know when to stop it has a yellow marker it says stop you're at your max length and if we follow that we're curled up Mate, we've got plenty. We could reach the other side of the road. The good thing about it too, when you release pressure, like when you're not putting the trigger, you can actually change the direction it sprays. So for example, that way, or that way. Oh, okay. Yep. And then while it's running, then you can adjust the spray pattern. The only problem you're gonna find, because it's so convenient, you don't have to set it up or anything, it's just turn off a switch, is that you're gonna go nuts cleaning stuff because it's just so easy. You know, clean the neighbors, up. clean your house, clean yeah. everything. Yep. Wash your misses. <laughs> Give your misses a wash. We do not condone this violence. <laughs> <laughs> So satisfying. Let's see how far you can go. Take the hose out. So we're at full extension. Wow. Look how far he is. And we're all the way over here. Couple of little tips, guys. So first one, when you're ready to pack it away, switch the power off. Turn the hose off here. And what we'll do is release the pressure in the line. Once you've done that, don't just let the hose go. So normally get a cloth so you can clean it at the same time. Hold it and slowly release it and let it retract its way back up. This way it gets stored away nicely and ready for use next time. So I did notice as well in the bag or in the box, sorry, it did come with the outdoor cover. Um, I'm not sure if that's included, I'll double check or if we purchased it, I can't remember. But yeah, an outdoor canvas bag, so protected from the elements. Um, overall, the gun is good, high quality. The only thing I'd recommend, I'd say, from a detailer's perspective, if this was at the bottom, because I could see that maybe getting in the way, you reckon? Yeah. But so far, it's been fine. Um, and if they had a short trigger style. Yeah, in, in saying that, I'm pretty sure you can buy a short trigger, which or they all have attachments there. Yeah. So that'll just move to there and then you've got your short trigger. Yeah. So I guess so there's extras that you can buy, I guess, yeah, later on. That's right. Maybe they offer it, we'll double check, but if they did as a detailer, a short trigger style, say it's that's your trigger and that's where the head would be roughly, mm. you can get under the guard line as nice and easy. Um, but you're for every day at home. Yeah, man, this is perfect. I reckon it's fantastic. It's so convenient. Um, we just had a friend stop by yeah. and seen us doing it and he goes, mate, I want one, where do I buy it? So. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll definitely test it out, but from the reviews that we've seen in America and from what we've experienced so far. Yep. We'll, we'll definitely put it through its paces. Um, yeah. Phil washes a lot of cars at home that he has. and Yeah, once else, a week so I'm washing either yeah, my ute. Driveways, windows. Something. So not. we're not using it for work purpose because we've got a, a, another setup at home for that at, yep. the, at the shop. I yep. love how you just straight out of the box, plug it in, it's ready to go. Everything's yep. there. So between um, this and our fantastic products that we have, washing cars are going to be super easy. Super easy. Um, where we mounted it, probably not ideal, but for me, that's probably the only spot. Uh, it would be good if it was indoors and a bit lower, if you can accommodate for that, because it also yeah. comes with, has a bracket that goes on the back of the uh, machine, and then you can connect the gun there, you can put your snow foam lance there, it's really convenient. And then it has a 180 degree swivel, I'll show you guys. Awesome. Awesome bit of gear, and I'm, um, I'm glad we got to try it out, and I can't wait to use it.
So there you have it guys, tested it as much as I can today, used and abused it. Um, I did all the side of the house, concrete, brickwork, retaining wall, all the glass. Then I came out to the front, washed the car. I used a snow foam lens, as you saw, super easy to use. Rinsed all the driveway, footpath, mate, I did it all. Um, so what can I say? The adjustable nozzle at the end, I actually really like that. Being able to adjust the fan spread from zero degrees to 80 degrees, so like pinpoint to a fan spread, on the fly, adjusting it, perfect. I loved it, it was um, to almost prefer it better than interchanging nozzles, so really good. The length of the hose, didn't get in the way, it was perfect, especially for outside, you wanted that little bit of length. It's light enough, the machine, you can use it with one hand. The trigger is nice and soft, you don't get a sore hand after a while, which I've noticed with some other ones. Could you benefit from a shorter trigger? Probably, if you're doing you know, predominantly cars and you wanna get in tight spots, uh, spots, but no problem at all. Um, Price-wise, they range anywhere from 350 to 450 currently they've got a sale uh, and we also have a 10% discount code there is a couple of variables so we've got the silver it comes in a gray color as well and then it also has two hose options so the one we have that you've seen is a really soft durable uh, wear resistant hose and as you've probably seen in the video when I was reeling it back in it kinked because I had the hose all tangled but it just undid itself no damage to the hose and in it went um, what else can I say Two year warranty, if you scan the QR code on the box, it gives you another 100 day warranty. So we're talking two and a half years warranty. Um, they're really easy to deal with when we're talking back and forth for the machine. Quick response, nice and clear, couldn't complain. Um, they also offer a bundle. So if you buy two pressure washers, you, pressure washers, you actually get it cheaper again. So if you wanna mount one to the front, to the back, so be it. This is the bracket I was mentioning earlier that I can't use because our machine's super high up. Um, but if yours is sort of this high, this just clips onto the side of the bracket and then you can put your gun and lance in there. So, super handy. Um, that's pretty much it guys. So I've put it through as much as I could today. We'll see how we go over the next course of time as I keep using it. We'll report back in the description below or if you follow our socials. They are currently stocked and ready to ship had heaps of messages already from that one single post we put on our Instagram story. Um, so you guys are keen. So I, yeah, I give it the approval. It's done us well so far. Can't complain. It did everything I wanted to. Enough pressure. Like I mentioned earlier, 1,750 PSI. That's your working pressure. It's got a max of 2,200, um, but your working pressure is 1,750, which plenty, enough for the cars, plenty to do the concrete, plenty to do the brickwork on the side of the house. Um, that's it so if you guys have enjoyed this video leave a comment below let us know if you're grabbing one if you've got any questions that we can try helping uh answering out if not reach out to draft tools directly i'm sure they'll be able to help you out thanks for watching